Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing the upcoming real-time strategy game Broken Arrow, developed by Steel Balalaika and published by Slytherin Limited. I've played and loved strategy games since the release of Dune and Command and Conquer series in the 90s. Recent decades have seen a variety of titles come and go, and I haven't found many titles that give a good balance of difficulty, micromanagement and immersion. One of my favourite titles of all time was the World in Conflict series and the Act of War series. These games had great storylines, engaging gameplay and a variety of tactical options. Broken Arrow seems to take the best elements of the War Game series, known for games such as European Escalation and Red Dragon, and fuse it with engaging infantry and squad support tactics of the World in Conflict series. Currently this demo is available on Steam for free to download and it features one mission and a hangar where you can view and customise the loadout options of the two armies, USA and Russia. Each nation has a healthy array of vehicles, weapons and aircraft, though this does not reflect the full finished product. The game promises to have a single player campaign, an online PvP, two complete factions comprised of vehicles and infantry units post-1990, with units from four different branches of the armed forces, the Marines, the US Airborne, the VDV, the Spetsnaz, etc. Broken Arrow will also contain a full scenario editor so you can create fictional or historical missions for yourself or your friends. The game is very cinematic and it feels much more visceral than previous titles that I have played. It's a little difficult but highly rewarding when you understand how it works. My thoughts? I would really love to see a mission replay system so I can film stories or cinematics. I think this would greatly increase the esports value of the game, as well as some kind of visual feedback on unit line of sight or a fog of war would also be helpful. I should add that this video is not paid promotion. I am genuinely hyped for this title and I hope you are too. Shout out to Gearjammer for pointing this game out to me. I played this demo twice and what you will see today is a full playthrough of my second attempt of the demo mission Operation Baltisk, playing as the United States Marine Corps. Ura. Gentlemen, we have just received the green light for the landing operation on Baltisk Peninsula. The Russian Baltic fleet is currently resupplying in the harbor of Kaliningrad and will soon be ready to take the sea. Taking control of this peninsula would trap them in the lagoon, rendering them basically non-operational in the region. Our troops are ready to storm the beach, but according to our latest satellite data, the mobile coastal artillery batteries defending the harbor. These guns must be silenced before we can launch the main assault, or this will turn into Omaha Beach 2.0. The guns have been spotted here. This is a battery of Barrick 152mm howitzers. They can detect and engage fast-moving targets above the water. That includes ships and helicopters. Local intel reports that a battery of surface-to-air missiles is present on the south bank of the lagoon, but the precise position of each launcher is unknown as they're relocated every day. That makes a missile or airstrike way too hazardous. Our best option is to send in a light force to eliminate the anti-air and artillery batteries by surprise and open the way for the main landing. They don't expect that kind of attack, so the ground forces in the area are limited. Commander, you will be in charge of the first wave while I organize the main landing. Prepare your troops, but remember, it's a one-time opportunity, so it's make or break. Make it happen, Commander. Good luck. My ships cannot approach as long as the coastal battery located in this port is operational. The anti-air missiles are located on the other side of the canal. A Russian missile battery generally consists of six vehicles. Two of them have been located on the beach, but the others must be hiding in the nearby city. The reconnaissance group has made contact with the enemy and reports the presence of a tank company defending the area. I hope you brought some dedicated anti-tank units with you. If not, use smoke and buildings to your advantage. Order ready, sir. Alright, first thing to do, we're going to call in a fire mission. Medium 
fire battery, smoke. Just across that plaza there. We'll get our AAVs into cover on the opposite side. Start forming up an attack force. Call in some units. We'll call in a couple of javelin units. So we can get those armoured guys across the plaza. Don't quite have enough just yet. There we go. Call them in. Now the smoke's up, we'll move the AAVs across. Line of sight is very important in this game. There isn't a clear indicator of what your units can see, so you just have to take your time. The game sort of feels like you have to rush, but you can take your time. Be methodical. At least until you get off this island. Let's get the MTV back to base. Get a refund on the points. Call in some supplies for our javelin units because they only have six missiles, I believe. Between them. They chew through them pretty quickly when they're firing at targets. Move the AAVs into line and cover. Here comes our logistics. Beautiful little models. Logistics is pretty easy to manage. Whoa, we've got javelins out. Double strike. See you later, Mr. T-72. Second jab out. Oh, it's chasing him down the road. Oh, no, didn't get him. Another jab's out, but this one will get him. Not fast enough. So that's pretty much cleared the plaza of immediate threats. Move our mortar LAV up into the support zone of that supply drop. Looks like we've got a couple of BTRs coming down the road. Got force recon in the structures there, keeping an eye on everything. Kill the BTR. In comes the artillery strikes from that fort across the canal. 155 millimeter batteries. So try and keep the vehicles up against the buildings so they can absorb the shocks. We'll get the Marines out of the AAVs. Scout snipers will get up on the flank there. To keep overwatch over that main road coming down the, the eastern side. And we'll call in some more marines as soon as we have the funds as support for their scout snipers. Good copy. Next way ready to engage, sir. So that supplies are being consumed. Shoot through a fair few missiles. Take stock of the situation. Not much we can do just now. But we get the Marines into this building here. So they don't get splattered by splash damage. The batteries come in every minute or so. Just wait for that battery fire to stop. Creep up in the shoreline there. See another T-72 down the main road. So we'll stop moving. Don't want his thermals to see us if he's got them. Spread out our javelin soldiers a little bit. AAV took some splash damage from that battery fire. Marines moving up. We'll get the AAVs over towards our other... Troopers over here. Oh, that tank's taking shots at us. Woo! Oh. <laughs> that would have been an instant kill, I think. So take these buildings. We'll try and set up sort of a front line so we have no opportunity to flank us down that other main road on the western side. We can see the first missile launcher, so we'll put some mortar fire onto him, keep our scouts undercover on the eastern side, bring in some small weapons teams, again we just need to wait for that extra five points so we can 
we'll put two of them inside the transport to save money. And we'll bring him up as support for our western flank. Put some smoke on that main road. While we've got transports moving around, we don't want that T-72 to see us. Things are looking good. It's a red hot run in that MTV. And we are in the AO. That T-72, see, oh, it looks got a couple of APCs running down the road. Drop smoke. Stay close to the building. Don't let them see us. Get that small weapons team in. And there'll be a nice rear shots there. Too slow. Take out the support infantry. Looks like we got them there just in time. So we'll call in another fire mission across this plaza here. Blocking line of sight. Running. Still got a fair few smoke shells in that LAV. So now we're going to try and make a sprint across the plaza here. Don't have a huge force available, but that's all right. As long as we keep that smoke up on the road. We'll set a longer fire mission. And we'll set it to go up the road to make that smoke denser. All Marines get back in the building. Almost got seen by the T-72. Things are looking good at the moment. Force Recon making their way towards the opposite building here. Got the LEV in support. We can see the next SAM site. SA battery. Looks like we have troopers in this building here. So we'll get them into cover. Deploy smoke. The recon guys can take care of themselves. They are the cream of the crop. We're just got to keep these Jap soldiers safe. So the smoke is for their benefit. They're relatively small units there. I'm not sure what those Russian soldiers are. Snipers on the far flank here. Ooh, Humvee's opening up. Humvee's <laughs> Vulcan. Alright. Need to move up the... Have to move up the western flank now. Keep the Marines up to... We need to get them up to this first line of buildings. Oh, we've got APCs coming down the eastern flank. Cancel that. Call in a full smoke mission. So those force recon guys don't eat the dirt. Humvee needs to get out of the way. He's just lit us up. <laughs> no discretion on that side. Transports aren't really that useful. They take a lot of damage very quickly. So we're going to use them to keep our troops flowing into the AO. Marines up and ready for action. These guys are in a little trouble. We'll get them in the LAB and get them out of dodge. We don't want them to die. Oh, they're still loading up. Vehicle won't move until they're all loaded, so you can't cheese that. So, is it a reservist? Taking shots, drop smoke, get into that ditch. Oh, just taking an RPG. We're out of line of sight, which is good. We've got no smoke left, so if we get hit again, we are dead. Fresh reinforcements on station. I enjoy doing the logistics side of things in this game. It's fun to shuffle your troops around. They're not full transports, but we better move them as a fleet anyway. 
convoy, I should say, for land operations. Hey, MTV will get him out of the way. Got the LVS coming in with supplies. Not, me not much in the way of supplies, so we'll be able to repair probably half health on these vehicles. But it's much cheaper than having to wait for them and call them in again. So you get, you get continuous resources until you have too many units. So the more units you call on, the less your resources will accrue. Although there doesn't seem to be any veterancy or anything like that for the units, which I also would like to see. Give you some more incentive to keep the boys alive. Oh, lab just took a hit. Drop the smoke. Get out of there. We've got a chopper doing circles around there. He'll call in some stingers. Looks like an MI-24. So we'll get him up on the eastern side. ASAP. Call in some more supplies. Get these guys in fighting order. Got a pretty good defensive position on this western flank. But our eastern flank attack did fail. I wasn't expecting that entire quadrant of buildings to be full of infantry. So we'll take a few moments to repair, restore, get reinforcements on station. And then we'll probably move up our forward operating base to where our other infantry are on the western flank. Get their Humvee out of the way, they have nothing but trouble. Repairs are coming along nicely. Take a moment to have a sip of a beverage. And we are good. Although our Force Recon guys need more supplies. They are understaffed. Looks like another SAM site has made an appearance. So we'll keep an eye on that and try and get him out of the picture as soon as possible. Slightly out of range of our stingers, so we'll move them to another building. A little bit closer to the front line, move the scout snipers up, as well as their marine support. Try and take this reservist out that's sitting on the road. AVs are ready to go, we've got another 26 marines inbound. MI-24 has taken stinger hits. Very good. Very resilient. So we come across the running track. T-72 has made another appearance. He's taking fire at someone. Already there. Call in another stinging unit while we can afford to do so. But we don't need another vehicle. We'll use our MTV for that. We'll bring in some more force recon as well and we'll stack them all in the MTV. The MTV can carry troops as well as cargo. So you can use it to move cargo around. I like how they've modeled the cargo and transport in the game. It's been pretty cool. Alright, so we'll put some fire on this S350. That would make a mess of any aircraft in the area. Oh, take another hit. Dump the troopers. Too full. Get in another building then. The transport's out, but we'll take them slightly less conspicuous route. Let's see if we can get this MI-24. Stingers out. Boof. Disintegrated. 
more supplies in as much as we can afford. Load up all the troops and we'll set up our new forward operating base up there on the western flank. Put some anti-tank units on the eastern flank as well so they're not under-supported. Put some smoke up so our LAV doesn't get hit by that T-72 up the road. Short salvo will do just to block the view. Almost there, through the fences. Oh, ambush! Taking hits, dump the troops, get them into the buildings. Woo. Oh, we need to back up and support those guys. Back up, back up, back up, and drop some smoke. Get them in the building. There we go. Now get the hell out of there. The micro is fun. I like doing that sort of stuff. Despite losing two of our soldiers, we didn't lose the javelins. Scout snipers need to probably move up and take those guys out in the building. And we'll send another regiment of Marines up. Just gonna stack the supplies. Setting up the operating base. I think we're almost ready to move up. We'll just reload everyone's ammunition and then we'll move up to the next line of buildings. I'll get these units fixed before I send them into battle again. Marines up. Launcher taken out. Righty. Is that four now we've taken? Still tanks in the city. But we're almost ready to assault across the road here. We'll put pressure on these guys. And look to move to move up the other side as well. So we can split the fire of these troops garrisoned in that quadrant there. Final supply run. Making short work of that garrison house there. Heavily outnumbered. Get the force recon reinforcements up. Oh, looks like we're taking some armor support, so we need to drop smoke up that main road. Force them to come down the road to us, so we can hit them with our AT weapons. We are losing a few troops. Well out of the way of our AT guns. Our AT rockets, sorry. We must be out of javelins, maybe. Or the ja there's jav off, but it's going for the T-72. That smoke is forcing them to come down the road. Makes them much easier to deal with. The entire tank platoon has been destroyed. Good job. We did lose seven men. A little bit more in that for car. Okay. What to do now? Alright. Next reinforcement of stingers are up. They're not too important now that we've taken that chopper down. So we'll keep them back in the support role. Alrighty. Okay, Force Recon reinforcements are ready to go. We'll start moving them up the road. See if we can spot this T-72. And then we can feed him a jab. AAV, just in case we need to make a hasty exit. That 155mm battery fire hasn't been too effective. Thankfully. <laughs> about our, our repair operations are just about complete. You could obviously do this a lot faster, but I'm just taking my time and enjoying the ride. Skylight. 
This little mortar truck has proven invaluable, so we'll move it up to our second operating base. Marines are ready, stocked, and replenished. We'll spread them out a little bit. And we'll get one unit across the road to see what's going on. Get them all across, actually. There we go. We've got contact. We're opening fire on the SA battery. Force recon are engaged. Missile launcher destroyed. This should be good. We'll put some more smoke down. Just to protect the Marines' advance. Move the stingers up a little bit. Gradually as we go, we'll move some recon down the coast. Seems to be going all well. We've got force recon reinforcements on the side here, so we've got scout support. Line of sight is extremely important. Armor transport ready. Good copy. Next waypoint received. Right, what have we got? Call in more supplies to stack it on. Ain't nothing gonna get in our way. Get in that building. All right, recon have contact. So we'll move the infantry up. The suburbs seem to be fairly secure. Let's make the most of that smoke screen while it still persists. Marines up. Jab up. Sprint it. Drop some smoke just in case. It clears. Oh, that was a big hit near the infantry then. We don't have time to have a look though. We need to keep an eye on our engaged soldiers. Marines, I should say. Going well. Progressing up. We'll move the stingers up a little bit more. It's very much an infantry game, especially in this map. We'll, we'll see in when the full release happens what it's like. Whether there's bigger, larger maps or open plane tank battles, it's that sort of thing. I'm assuming there will be. But for this mesh... For this mission, infantry is your linchpin. Especially this first phase. A platoon of naval infantry has been spotted crossing the canal. Okay, Prepare looks like we have the counter-offensive. Counter we need to get up quickly and form a line. We don't want them to get into the taller structures. Clearing out the last remnants of the garrison, and here come the amphibious vehicles and their marines. We drop smoke so they don't get a clear field of fire. Recon up on the, on the flank there to see if we can get a sneaky AT shot. Alright, it's time to move our convoy up. Get the cargo truck to pick up our supplies, we don't leave those behind. Our Marines seem to be doing well, although I didn't have the Western flank secure very well. Solid shots down that road though. Perfect range. Get that last guy out of the building. Go home. And we're in. Looks like the counter-attack is starting to lull. Now it's time to move up to our second operating base. Things are still going well. Nothing we can't happen. Oh, the Humvee's just taken direct hit. Yeah, I'd be swearing too. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do with our mortar lav? Infantry are all up in a line. Welcome to the missile age, choppers. Oof. Building just took a solid hit. Let's get into the outer suburbs. Head up towards that 
Orthodox church looking building. We've got an ATGM carrier over there, carrying a concourse. Ooh, another hit there, right in the center of that formation. Pick up those supplies and move them up with the rest of the convoy. Not much, but it's enough for a few rounds of machine gun ammo. We might move up and start to surround that last remaining anti-aircraft battery. Move the line up. And we'll just call in some fire support on that guy. Makes it much easier to kill. Looks like phase one is starting to come to a close. We'll move up to the next line of buildings. We need to bring our large supply truck up. One more to go. We've got two LAVs. I forgot to mention I brought one of those in. Two mortar LAVs now. And done. I that was the last yes. missile launcher. Air assets are now available. You can call in helicopters from the reinforcement panel. All right. Cross the canal, destroy the guns, and take control of that port. Once it's done, establish a defensive perimeter. Enemy barricades are mobilizing as we speak. 240 points for a Viper. So we'll get everyone restocked. Hopefully we don't take any direct hits from that artillery until we can take it out. We'll call in a Viper and then we'll go and attack that position. Super dangerous to have everyone together, but I need to get all these supplies used up, get everyone healed, get the stingers close, just in case there's some some kind of chopper attack. Truck's on his way home. They should finish repairing right about the time our Viper is ready for deployment. Roger. Moving out. So we'll get the APCs lined up somewhere different. Staging area for our amphibious assault across the canal. We have seven units of Marines. And we can call in our Viper. to stop this artillery so it doesn't damage our attack force. So we'll get the Marines up against the building so they don't get splattered. There's a close hit there on that AAV. Here comes our Viper. Beautiful. Let's go and get some artillery while they're distracted with their battery fire. Here we go. We've got, we've got hydro rockets, we've got the AGMs, and we've got a 20 millimeter. Oh, we've overshot. Oh, we've taken a hit from the artillery. Oh dear. I forgot they can attack air targets. <laughs> well, sorry, mate. Well, that changed the tempo a little bit. All right, we better put our Marines in the buildings, should we? What should we do? Just threw away the Viper, which means that the artillery is going to start again. All right, let's 
Let's put some fire, counter fire back on this artillery position. Get the Marines into the buildings before the angry battery starts. Here it comes. Force recon guys, all together, marshal everyone up. Get this LAV to... I'm gonna fire an area shot. They fairly spread out in that cap circle. There we go, the fire's starting to come in. Just gotta wait for them to get taken out, I guess. Or we could call in some helicopter support and just charge across the canal in the Ospreys. What are you doing, Commander? Yes, I Take know. That and <laughs> Tell that to the Viper pilot. Oh, I use smoke shells. Ah. That's alright, we'll just keep them smoke suppressed then. Got plenty of ammunition. Ospreys are coming in. 26 seats on here so they can carry two units of marines or a bunch of support troops. So let's go two force recon in each because we're going to do a surgical strike across that canal. We'll put a javelin soldier in each Osprey. So we have anti-tank support as well, and short-range anti-tank weapons. I think that should fill it up. And yes, so we've got 20 in each chopper, I think. So we'll put these guys in a holding pattern while we just put our Marines in the AAVs. We'll call in a Super Stallion. So we get these guys moving so they're just hovering around. Put them on a waypoint. What are we going to do with our Scout Snipers? They should probably go in chopper this probably doesn't look super exciting but I love just moving my pieces around the board <laughs> give you a good uh, feel of what you can do with the units and what sort of force compositions you can build what tactics are available. I like the thought of chopper warfare and hot drops. Super Stallion is loaded. Got enough room for a Stinger crew. Sting stingers can go in that Osprey with the Scout Snipers. And I think we're pretty much full for airborne troops. Humvee can go back to base because we can't cross the canal with him. AAVs are lined up, ready for their Marines. And we are almost ready to assault across the beach. I'm gonna say, there's a lot of attention to detail, I think. It's almost like Command and Conquer was meant to be made in the battlefield. Uh, uh, what's the name of that engine? Is it the Infinity engine? Yeah, Battlefield was meant to have a Command and Conquer made at one point. EA was looking at it and it looks very similar to this. You know, 3D, very well rendered units moving around realistic maps. 
And sadly, that got killed. So I would like to see some veterancy for your units. I would like to see persistent um, veterancy across the campaign, hopefully. That would be really, really interesting. Now, this isn't on ultra graphics either. I'm running this on high. Just so that we could have the best recording experience. But it does run very well on my rig on ultra. I'm not sure how it's optimized for other rigs though. I also haven't encountered any bugs, touch wood. I think we're just about ready to assault across the bridge. So we'll form everyone up on the bridge, uh, on the beach, and then we'll be ready to go. Artillery Spam that mortar fire! <laughs> I'm sick of them shooting at me. Let's pummel them into oblivion. And it looks like we are ready for our attack. We've got cargo. We've got troops. Viper for Overwatch as we make our landing. I'm not expecting there to be any more troops. Have one final survey of our attack force. Everything looks in order. We are ready to go. And we are Oscar Mike. Do it. In the water. Right across. Fast as you can. Try not to overshoot the LZ like I did with the Viper last time. Get that Osprey to drop in the first troopers. Stallion. Drop in supplies and its troops. We'll get the Viper down here just to check this point out. In case there's any troops gar garrisoned down the bottom. The enemy bear troopers have taken off. Oh, here we go. There's a marine garrison. My ships are on their way. Your orders are to hold your Oops. position Just until the arrival them to of death. the landing party. Drop the supplies. Then we need to get the verdi birds out. It's not much, but it'll These top off that depot in the middle. Right, we need to get the marines and their complement into the tree line. So we can have a look at the situation. Stingers can stay inside the supply circle. And with paratroopers coming, we'll try and get some air kills. Got four stingers. Get their LAVs up. The mortars can stay behind. AAVs are taking a while, but we're going to use them to assault this position in the city with the bulk of our Marines. Forced recon, and the rest of the troops can hold the fort, literally. Keep the Vipers low, get them restocked. Here we go, stingers are out, cargo aircraft are under attack, paratroopers are on their way to the Earth. Some drop zone in that. Oh, almost got him. Almost got him. Wait, that last one. Oof, gotcha. <laughs> well, this guy might be in trouble flying right over the top. Will they struggle from below? Oof. One more, one more. Oh, he got out of range. didn't actually stop any of the troops from landing, but we did manage to take a cargo plane. Alright, so we need to call in smoke to... Oh wait, wrong fire mission. Oh, taking a stinger, get out of there. Sorry, an Igla. First in the Russians. There's a miss. Get down under that ridge. I'll put a fire mission on those guys. Too late. Okay, we need to get the smoke up. Oh, again, with the wrong fire mission. 
need a line of smoke here so that they cannot fire at us in the open. They have to cross that river and then expose themselves to our short range troops. Viper's taking out the armor. Get these Marines in as quick as possible. We've got six, five units of Marines. Oh, it looks like we've just fired off a Hellfire into space. That Igla really wants our blood, but... Oh, we managed to take out a unit of VDV in the city at the same time as getting hit by an Igla. So we're going to call in some more supplies via chopper. We need to get these Marines up into the city and into the high-rises. We may have left this too long. Got distracted with that anti-aircraft missile. Dropping smoke to keep the infantry safe. We just lost a transport vehicle. About to lose the second one. Oh, I couldn't click it in time. It's not too much of a concern. They got their payload there. Now those guys will put pressure on the guys that are trying to assault the fort. Which means our mission here at the fort will be a little bit easier. We'll drop off those supplies for the mortars so that they don't run out of ammunition. Try and get these marines into the building. Get the AAV back to the fort. We're taking fire from this artillery unit in the background, but I can't seem to get into range of him. Igla's everywhere. This is not safe for our choppers. We fired off a hellfire. Where is she going to space again? We're about to lose another Viper. I have to work on my chopper micro, that's for sure. Super Stallion needs to get home. Oh, Viper's just taken another hit. Plunged right into the shoreline there. Flaming wreck on the beach. to get this smoke fire mission back on task but we'll use creeping barrage try and kill any infantry that are in those tree line there the landing party is almost there hold tight unfortunately our marine contingent is taking substantial pressure there's not a lot I can do about it our main priority is the fort I feel bad having to put them under such intense pressure I've lost a unit of Marines in the city. They're too exposed to that vehicle fire in that building. We'll get some jabs to try and get some revenge. Fire that jab out. There we go. But he was taken out by the AT team in the skyscraper instead. Drop off more supplies for our mortars because they are chewing through their ammunition. Got to call in a heap of supplies for these Marines here to try and get them back in fighting action. Got no answer to that artillery, unfortunately. Not much I can do about it. But I think phase two is almost complete. Skyscraper is taking direct artillery fire. Try and get that super stallion in before the BTRs see it. I'm not very good with tank designations, so forgive me. I just know they're squishy. Oh, super stallion made it in, but he forgot to drop the cargo. Get him on the ground quickly. We need to get more rockets in those Marines' hands. We've managed to drop the cargo. The stallion the was lost. The landing finally here. Time for the big show. Hoorah! Now we're in for a treat. gives me strong Battlefield vibes. Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. Reaper 1, this is Overlord.
Overlord. Two Reaper one. one Engage and destroy. I'll copy. Over. We've got one, our FA-18E Super Hornets. Oh, SU. SU 30s. Big head on fight there. One bandit down. Oh, he's fired Fox 2. Trying to get around on his circle. He's going to turn in on this guy. But he's committed to the wingman. I've managed to spoof a few Fox 2s. We've got some reinforcements on the way. Can't get around. Oh no, we've got two more bandits. Drop flares. Oh, we managed to take out that final one. Drop more flares. Fox 2. Fox 2 again. Oh, we've taken him out. These guys are aces. <laughs> Four kills. Well done, boys. We didn't need those Rhino, reinforcements. Ready. Rhino ready. Rhino, combat ready. But at least we got fully loaded wing two Destroyer for any on. extra threats Rhino that may appear. Beautiful Rhino Ali Burke there. SU-25 on their way to make an attack run. There's one thing I've learned about these guys. They have all aspect Missiles, so don't come from the front. We still managed to take one hit in that engagement. We'll get this guy out of the way. Drop some flares. Oh, his wingman's come in for the kill still. <laughs> It's like a match of War Thunder, they're killing each other's steals. Stealing each other's kills. <laughs> it's very late here. I had to wait until my children went to bed. Oh, we've lost a... Pilot down. We need to get a rescue operation underway for that guy. Two more SU-25s coming in. Hopefully he's got his survival gear with him. If it's anything like the other games that I've spoken about, World in Conflict, or... Thumping, thumping. Chase him, get him! Ew. <laughs> Bandit is splashed. So hopefully the US crew, if I can pick him up, maybe I'll get some points back or some kind of bonus to that. Bring in an S another FA-18. And we'll just put them in a holding pattern. We are... We are good. Landing force has arrived. Here's the situation, Commander. Your group holding the fort has drawn the bulk of the enemy force to the tip of the peninsula. Now, focus on the landing party. Your objective is to capture key buildings overlooking the main crossroads to cut their reinforcements and trap them. You need to hurry. Your men at the fort won't hold forever. Copy. Okay. So we're coming in from another axis of attack and we want to try and save our friends over there in the city. We've got a bunch of points to spend, so we'll stack them up. We're going to get a bunch of marines in via Osprey. So we don't have to wait for the av tracks to come all the way from the landing craft. Call in some javs. Oh, I can call in trucks. Oh, that's cool. Do that instead then. Call in the stingers. Call in force recon. Okay, ready to go. Restart time. And we'll wait for our reinforcements before we make this attack. I'm confident that our Fort Boys can hang out for a little while. Where are the rest of my reinforcements coming from? Um, 
I thought they would spawn landing craft or something. The Osprey is in the air. Okay, maybe I've got to wait for those to go back to the ship. So everything I ordered in that wasn't coming in a chopper hasn't arrived and I've lost the points for them. Oh, goody. Goody, goody, goody. I think that's probably my first bug. Okay. Unless those transports refill with what I ordered. But it doesn't look like they're going to the ship. It's frustrating. We'll send a tilt rotor out to save our pilot that unfortunately is still waiting out there in the drink. Okay, we've got a LAV AD, anti aircraft lab. Keep your heads down! Okay, rocket barrage, hey? Eh? The Russian specialty. Yeah, that would hurt a lot. Alright, now that that's passed. Is that how you welcome all your tourists around here? Alright, we've got a couple of choppers circling around in the city. A few cruise missiles from our destroyer will teach them good manner. Oh, cruise missiles, hey? Oh, anti-aircraft has opened up on those choppers that are sitting there doing nothing. Managed to take one down. Two. Oh, these are easy shots. He's not doing anything. <laughs> I would have expected them to at least respond. Okay, we've got a nice mixed force and it looks like I've been... ...conned out of my points that I spent on other reinforcements. I'm not getting them. And it looks like... ...I've lost the points as well as the ability to spawn those infantry in. Run into element of paratroopers. Keep all the marines together, I think, and I'll use the force recon to head up the left flank, the northern flank. Keep the tanks there. They've got a nice line of sight up that main road. Oh wait, we have someone opening fire on our AAVs. Drop smoke and reverse. LAVs are under fire as well, but our M1 Abrams are helping us in the background. Smashing those troops in the buildings. Now we'll get Force Recon to move their way up through that quadrant of the city. Providing overwatch for the tanks. We'll get one tank to come back and watch the other approach on the other main road. I can call in Marines, but I've lost my ability to call in everything else. Damn it. Alright, so call in another two units of Marines. Get the abs out of the way, they're a bit of a liability. Drop some of our pre-organized supplies. Uh, they've got small weapons teams in there as well, so we'll move those up to accompany our force recon. Got eight units of marines, that should be able to lock down this section of the city at least. We have another two units coming in soon too. So 10 is a lot. We should be able to do a lot with that. Drop some flares so we don't just get spiked for no reason. We are coming in pretty close to the city now. We'll advance our M1 Abrams up the road. Right flank tank has a target that he's shooting at. 
Looks like an APC. It's time to call in some artillery on this MLRS. We'll go one cruise missile each. You have 16 cruise missiles, so you can make a, you can do a lot with those. Get a full, full load out of tomahawks. Boof. Has a lot of. MLRS destroyed. So, who's got the biggest stick now, huh? Sound effects are really nice. It's really good. You feel that thump. All right, we've got choppers trying to do nasty work on our marines in the city, but luckily we've got our labs in the background. Spamming stingers. Clapping them. We've taken 10 casualties to one of our marine units. We advance everyone up, set up a perimeter. We'll get the injured unit back out of combat. We'll bring our weapons teams over towards where the vehicles seem to be stationed. But we'll continue with our plan to try and cut off the reinforcement route up this road. Get the... I'll spray back to the landing craft. Looks like he's taken a hit. It's a casual stinger hit. And we've made it to our first waypoint. Looks like we're fighting an anti-aircraft unit. Or a weapons team. Force Con is making their way up. Tomahawk on these scout vehicles, just for fun. Tomahawk on the BMD. Comes a new truck of reinforcements. Splat! <laughs> uh, I saw in the aircraft hangar that you can use the B2 Spirit and the nuclear weapon. Cost 2,200 points to spawn. And I'm sure the Russians probably have an equivalent TU-95 or something like that. That was one of my favorite things about the world in conflict games it's the, the super weapons and the uh, the weapon support that you could call in great variety of different powerful they're like kill streaks I guess you could call them alright things are looking good Our M1 Abrams are about to make a dash up the road here. Forcon is paving the way. There doesn't seem to be any other hostile elements in the city. Drop the supplies. Heal up anyone that needs it. Get our injured Marines back. And we'll move our forward operations base just south of this tower here. Sorry, I should say that. West. The camera's rotated. You need to hurry. Your men at the fort won't hold forever. We got them, we got them. Right, we're setting up our roadblock. We'll get four con across the road. Oh, I can see an anti-aircraft unit there in the background. Splattered. We're fighting a weapons team in that tower there. Oh, got a tank. We're just going to kill all the armored units with tomahawks. Very expensive way to take out these vehicles, but we're not paying the budget. Here you go, T-72. Oof. Oof. Very good. We'll kill this anti-aircraft emplacement. Force recon ready. Force recon ready. 
We'll get Falcon unit to come up this road and see if there's any hostile elements coming from the eastern side. Try and move these guys down towards our next waypoint. Oh no, we've hit a civilian building instead. <laughs> Let's took out an apartment block instead of the anti-aircraft emplacement. Oh no. Our unit's getting strafed by... by Heinz. We just lost a whole unit of Marines. These high towers are proving hard to hit the helicopters for my labs. I think the scale of the game is pretty good. I would like to see some more of the infantry hanging out the buildings <laughs> and shooting stuff. But I can understand they can only do so much. Another Tomahawk in here on this T-72 that's hiding behind the apartment block. The 25mm has opened up on behind. Our roadblock is fighting someone down the road. Tomahawk has taken out a single little tank around a apartment block. Be damned to collateral damage. Making steady progress. We only really need Marines if we can take out all their vehicles with Tomahawks. <laughs> These poor reinforcement trucks are just getting smashed by HE shells. Try and take out this guy with a tomahawk now that I leveled that other building that was in the way. Oh, we've got a we've got a push of infantry coming. It's a fair amount. We do have the defensive position though, which is always going to help. These sort of games do heavily def um, favor the defender, which is. Fairly true, I guess. Right, let's see if we can get this guy in the trees with our cruise missile. Our infantry is actually... Oh, <laughs> leveled the next door block. Oh, God. <laughs> I won't try that again. But I will hit that one. Our units are all heavily suppressed. Blat of that building. <laughs> Completely demolished it. Oh, I must have spammed attack orders, did I? <laughs> Oops. If the first Tomahawk doesn't work, send another. So the lead element of our infantry push is... Oh, we just lost a AAV. Oh, they're firing ATGMs at us. Well, I'm firing a Tomahawk back. There. There. Two left. And there. That should solve my... Oh, he's fired another one. Smoke up. Splat. Splat. That's so far my favorite thing. <laughs> I've always wanted to lob tomahawks at a city. Alright, let's make it our push to these final objectives. We're not being very mindful of our men's lives. There's a certain point where you just need to go mash everyone into a building and hope it works. Got some supplies coming in. We should have enough cover, I think, from that stinger.
two units of force recon should be able to take out a weapons team. Abrams are still doing a good job. Oh, they've launched Eaglers. Ah, oh, shit. Should have seen that coming. But you can only manage so many things at once. Let's just sprint across the road. Oh no, the buildings are full of people. <laughs> Don't sprint across the road. Fight them. Alright, get the next unit of Marines across to help. Forcon's almost taken out the weapons team. I'll send some reinforcements up and keep one unit back. Oh no, now we're getting splattered. Run. We've got no smoke, so I can't do anything about that. We do have the sheer weight of numbers. I'll send one tank up to get this AA vehicle. I'm not letting him stay alive. Got him. Alright, should be able to make it now. Smoke. And run. You can make it. And we made it to the building. We just got to kill everyone in that other high rise. Call in some supplies, I think. I can't afford much, but it's better than nothing. Oh. All this chaos is making me yawn. <laughs> Things are looking good. Except everyone jumped out of the building for some reason. That must have been my mistake. Oh, he took a fair bit of damage. That's surprising. And then the last person holding up that building is now succumb to his fate call in some more supplies because I didn't do it before land them on the, the enemy beach. is cut off they will probably try to break the encirclement by attacking us from both sides at once the landing crafts are coming back with a new wave of reinforcements Tighten okay. up your positions and hold until the enemy assaults run out of steam oh we got this now if we're getting more reinforcements, we'll be fine. Try not to lose another Super Stallion this time, hey? These things are massive. How something that huge can just hover is insane. Physics go brr. <laughs> we drop the supplies there. Drop some flares in case they have some random eaglers there somewhere. And we'll get this M1 fixed because we're going to probably need him. Get the chopper out. You've done your job. And here comes the first elements of their counteroffensive. Of course, they have 25 and 30 millimeter cannons, and I only have grenade launchers. Oh, the LAVs were looking the wrong way, so they haven't been able to respond. Oh no, we're going to lose our supply depot. BMD, take him down. Target, identify, fire. 
Oh no. Troops will get us. Get out of there, supply truck. Oh, more choppers. We're actually in trouble. We need these other reinforcements for sure. Oh, we got two more LEVs. That's exactly what we need. Those choppers are the most dangerous thing. We just need to charge up into the city. Tanks are still holding out all right. Oh, we've got a tank platoon. Our two versus three. We can't do it. Drop smoke and reverse. We need to get behind these buildings. Before the smoke runs out. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're outnumbered. Alright, so our Forcon now will engage those tanks, which should give us a little bit of time. We've got to keep him alive to draw the aggro. One T-72 down. Oh, we've lost Forcon. We've lost an M1A1. We'll get one more shot off and then pop smoke, I think. Reverse. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, he should be okay for a minute. Everything's looking good on this side of the town. It's only really our M1 Abrams that is in trouble. Let's get rid of that last weapons team up in the city. I think we're good on this side. We've lost our M1A1 that was holding valiantly up in the city. Oh, it looks like we have more armor elements. Oh, we do. Really, I didn't put any thought into the defense because I got a little bit complacent. I thought we were actually going to steamroll them. These tanks do present an opportunity, uh, a disadvantage. What will I do? What will I do? Get the cargo up to stock up these marines. I could try and ambush them with the LAVs, but I don't know how much that would do. We're going to have to use infantry ambush. Get the fork on in all different buildings. Got more BMDs coming down the road. Get that supply truck out of the way. Got red on all sides. What will we do? Oh, four tanks in the city, and I don't, I don't have any more tomahawk, so I can't solve it that way. Drop the supplies, drop the men, get them in the building. Get that Abrams to help. That would be good. All right, he's firing on the target now. Those supplies are gone already. <laughs> Last Marine in that building. Smoke and get out of there. Come on, take out the BMDs. My armor hasn't done much besides the M1A1 blockade that I set up. Oh, we've got extra choppers coming in and this is how I lost my last ones. Because the buildings present an obstacle. There we go. Come on. Yes. This is it, Commander. They have spent everything they we have. We have done it. The stragglers just radiated in. They're surrendering. We hold the harbor and the canal. Mission accomplished. So that's the end of the demo, guys. If you've liked this video, leave me a like and subscribe to see more when the game is released. I have videos coming out that highlight the tech trees of both Russia and USA, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, Commander Tyrael, out.
finally here. Time for the big show. Enemy MLRS destroyed. So, who's got the biggest stick now, huh?